Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon heads to the heart of farm country, Norwalk, Ohio. Right now, I feel like I'm in a mental asylum. Where he meets Joe Nagy. You can't well, hurt my feelings, so let's get over to the most pretentious owner he's ever met. Our food is the best by far. No one's ever done this. Joe claims his restaurant is farm to table. You're going to try all these animals at the restaurant. But Chef Ramsay quickly discovers it's anything but. Farm to table, it's known. This owner runs his business like a ruthless dictator. Just do what you do. I don't care what he says. Go, 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 go. Not surprisingly, his staff are at their wit's end. The way you treat me is disrespectful, crude, degrading. Then you need to find another place to work. Tonight, Chef Ramsay finds himself in a war with an owner so arrogant. Defensive, ignorant. If I'm all that, you're my twin. And so resistant to change. You're talking now. This restaurant just might be impossible to save. We don't have it. That's tonight. Are you that stupid? On a shocking Kitchen Nightmares. You want me out of here, I'm going to leave. Good. What is that? You're serving rotten food. We could possibly kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <laughs> Shut the place down! Get out of here! That is amazing! Thank you, Chef. Sixty miles from Cleveland is the rural farming community of Norwalk, Ohio. It's here where Joe Nagy, after losing his job in food sales, bought a livestock ranch and decided to open Mill Street Bistro. How are you guys doing? I was trained and worked for many old school chefs that were Europeans. Just hit it with that wine right there. I always visualized having that place of my own. Mon cherry. The word fine dining is obnoxious. Get a doily on his plate, please, if you can't back it up. Guys, verbiage, OK? Bruschetta, Christini's, you know what that is? Okay. You know, but I know that I have what it takes to do it. This is their big moment at the bistro. Joe is in denial. This is not a fine dining restaurant. Who do you think you're talking to? This is the finest of the finest. What he tells us every day is he is the best restaurant from New York to LA. I would put this restaurant up against anyone because the passion. Really, we are mediocre at best. What is that? It's kind of gross. I don't know. Isn't that wonderful? The food here is exceptional. We didn't get this elk from UPS. It comes from our ranch. It's fresh, sustainable, and local. We really are from farm to fork. That's why our food is the best by far. He's always playing up the quality of the food. We made that sauce from scratch. <laughs> and I know most of our stuff is frozen. There are corners that are cut. For example, the steaks come from a wholesale food club. Looks good, looks good. They turn brown, they start smelling. I'm like, mm, I would not eat that. <laughs> hey, Joe. I'm eating right now? I, I didn't know. Hey, you came out with this before. Me. Excuse me. When I think about Joe, I think of an arrogant, selfish jerk. Quit asking all these arbitrary questions to these customers. Get the ice, cool it down. He talks down to people. Is there enough bread for dinner right now, or yeah. do you want me to do that part of the thinking, too? It's always somebody else's fault. That's your responsibility that the bread doesn't taste stale. He makes it very unbearable to even be here. The way you treat me is disrespectful, crude. Then you need to find another place to work. I come to win. I didn't come to up. I don't think Joe can see past his ego. I know that Tommy and me are handsome guys. Don't come back here and stare at us. Joe doesn't realize his actions affect our livelihood. What is this? That one. The owner was very condescending. The owner was rude. Business is super slow. And the big reason people don't come in is because of Joe. I've never had a piece of meat come back in here in 10 years. He's the one who needs to change his way of thinking. Don't come around and start blah, 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 blah. Or we're not going to survive. Is the Mill Street Bistro a kitchen nightmare? By no means. We're not a kitchen nightmare when it comes to cleanliness, functionality. Are we a kitchen nightmare because we have no asses in the seats? Yes. Yes. Before Chef Ramsay visits Mill Street Bistro, Joe wants Gordon to check out his farm so we can show him firsthand the livestock that supplies the restaurant. Joe, 
Chef Ramsay, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. What a gorgeous place. Yeah, just a small little working ranch. Let me show you around. Please. How long have you had the farm? Eight years. How long have you had the restaurants? Five years. I want Chef Ramsay to critique my restaurant and say, you got something, Joe. That's what I'm looking for. Look at these beauties here. Gorgeous. You're going to try all these animals at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. This is all the things I've learned in Europe, in New York, and the places I've right. worked, and as a table-side culinary chef. I see you work as a chef. I am self-taught by old-school Europeans, master chefs that had a liking to me because yeah. of my passion. Yeah. Um, I was in the food distribution business. As a um, salesman? A salesman oh, and a consultant for all okay. the large distributors. Well, things changed, so I opened up a restaurant. But and what type of restaurant is it? I like to say fine dining. Fine dining. And is the restaurant making money? No. Why? Because we have to get more asses yeah. in the seats, and we have to get sure. people to take us serious. I think some people are finding me pretentious. Really? They're finding me arrogant. Uh -huh. I'm not arrogant. I'm a passion-loving person. Right. Let's just kind of swing over here. The buffalo, they should be in the next uh, several weeks having calves. Mm -hmm. This is my buddy here. Your buddy? Yeah. Oh, he goat. Is... Hey, come here, Skinny. What's his name? His name's Skinny? Skinny. Yeah, he's very affectionate. He, Look just, he just really wants to be loved, you know. Are we going to slaughter him? No. No. Oh. You know, I always tell Skinny, I said, you're the only one that's not going to get whacked around here. You know right. what I mean? Everybody else is up for <laughs> wow. debate. You, you know, but he's like my dog, and I take him for rides. He's not your thing. pet. He's yeah. He just loves to be around me. He's he, close to you, isn't he? Yeah. He's an affectionate guy. You were about yeah. to kiss him then, weren't you? No, I don't kiss him. I can tell you guys are close. Yeah, we're close. Ah, maybe a little too close, eh? Hey. Hey. Hey, don't you dare. Yeah. Uh, hey. <laughs> Hey, stop, stop. You can see, he's, uh, he's jealous. Uh, he's yeah. <laughs> me and you talking. I'll be two minutes, Skinny, OK? You grab a glass of wine, and you pull over here, and he comes over, and he's just licking your hand, and you're just sitting there going, it's I worth it. So you have a glass of wine with him as well? I think things get a little strange when you have this relationship yeah. with farm animals. Look at this place. You run this single-handedly, you and Skinny? Me and Skinny. When was the last time you had a day off? Never. Never? I don't Joe, know. come on. The things that I'm doing, it's pretty incredible, even to my standards. What excites me is when I see a man this motivated to put all this effort into food in your local bistro. Yeah. I'm dying to taste some of that passion. Let's do it. OK. I'll, I'll see, you see you back, back at the restaurant. restaurant. Thanks, Thanks for sir. coming out, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> Tell Skinny we're just friends. <laughs> Coming up. That was uncalled for. Wow. Joe's problems are just beginning. You are so arrogant. And later, a massive showdown between Chef Ramsay and Joe. Wake up! You wake up! No one is backing down. I get it. Are you that stupid? It's a confrontation you have to see to believe. You want me out of here, I'm going to leave. Good. Farm-to-table restaurants have a strong appeal with Chef Ramsay. After being impressed by Joe's farm, he's quite anxious to try the food. Hello. Good afternoon. What a gorgeous Welcome. place. Yes, thank you. Look at this. Ready to sit? Oh, it's stunning. Yeah, very Thank you. Follow me, please. Excellent. Oh, why is the fire on 95 degrees? Um, that is just for aesthetics. It is actually oh, aesthetics. not putting out heat, but it oh. can it, it oh. can if you need. So that's not really a fire. So I turn it off? You could. Well, it's 95 degrees outside, what? so I just thought, when it's that hot. Agreed. <laughs> when it's that hot outside, do you want to walk in and see a fire? Right, where would you like me to sit? Right over here. Thank you, my darling. You're welcome. Um, just out of interest. Yes. What's the name tag for? We've always had this since we opened. But we're not a chain, are we? We are not. No. Could you take it off? Of course. Please. Yay! We are not little lost dogs. I'm fine without it. Um, what's wrong with this fine dining bistro? Um, the business is lacking. Why do you think that is? It would be Joe and the way he treats the guests. Treats the out guests? on the floor, yes. Oh, really? If they have a complaint. So he goes and, what, victimizes the customer? Uh, it has happened, yes. I've seen it happen. Wow. And he's trained with some of the best chefs in Europe. I've heard that story, yes. Seriously? Wow. I mean, things are starting to unravel. Um, OK. Anyway, I'd like to see as much as I can okay. so I can get up to speed with this fine dining. Sure. Any specials? 
Um, the features we have this evening, we have house-made bruschetta for an Sorry, appetizer. Specials. Features. <laughs> we are told to use features as our descriptive word for what we have available that is not on the menu. I feel like I'm going to see a movie. What restaurant says features? Who does that? So do you have any features? Yes, our features this evening, elk medallion served over a grilled portobello mushroom cap. Let's go for the uh, elk feature. OK. All right. Uh, what else? The catch of the day, we are offering a trio of our Ohio-raised bluegill. We have perch and wow. largemouth bass. Let's go for that. Okay. Local, love it. Um, scallops on crude. OK. For the vegetarian ravioli primavera. Onion soup, please. OK. Uh, oyster Rockefeller. Puccini scallops, I've got to go for. OK. Is that a quesadilla? It is a quesadilla. <laughs> It's not fine dining or bistro. Well, let's go a little bit Mexican, shall we? I've okay. Never had an elk quesadilla. Lots of elk, but not quesadilla. Is that a typo error? That is the price. New York Strip, 26. Mm -hmm. Philly Mignon, 29. Yes. They must be some of the most expensive prices locally, right? Correct, yes. Wow. Um, I think we're done, darling. Nice to meet you. You as well. The good news is, at least it's farm to table, so I've got something to cling on to. All right, he wants a French onion soup. Do his quesadilla, start getting that prep. We do things with passion, with integrity. I need 10 raviolis, please. The food here at the bistro is the freshest, hands down. How are you, sir? That is on the badge. Bill. Yes. I know your name now. You can take it off. Thank you. Excellent. Come on over. Uh, good to meet you. Good job. You as well. It's a pleasure. Likewise. What's the first thing wrong with this place? Uh, well, we make no effort whatsoever to market to the locals. Really? Well, apparently, um, wow. yes. I, I think Joe believes the restaurant's a little above the local area. Seriously? A, I think that's probably a problem. I thought it was pricey, but I mean, 16,000 locals on your doorstep. Why would you ignore them? Arrogance. Wow. So, how'd you rate it in terms of the food on a scale of 1 to 10? 5. Bill, you're scaring me. Can I meet all the staff with the badges? I want to get rid of those bloody things. Let's call a meeting with the badges. Say hello and give me a badge. Let's go. Yeah. Turn your badge in. You're a wanted man. Down. Right, thank Excellent, thank you. you Next. Go. First name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Bex. Excellent. Madam, wonderful. Come hear you. Hello. Name tag. Now. Fire's off. Badges are down. Excellent. Would this be my French onion? Yes, ma'am. I can hear him now. Is the onion soup supposed to be so dumb bloody good? <laughs> All right, so we have the French onion soup to start you off. Thank you, my darling. Uh, who made the soup? Joe makes the soup. Joe, wow. Thank you. The cheese is barely melted. Jeez. Normally should be a little more packed with onions. There's so much fat on top of it. It's greasy. This is going to GR. Amy's up. Oh, what is that? Oysters Rockefeller. OK, great. May I take um, that? Thanks, darling. Yeah, it was really greasy on top. OK, I'll greasy let him know. Greasy, watery, and um, short of cheese and onions. OK. Um, what happened here? That is a parsley infused oil. And he squirts that on top? Around the rim. Right. I'll check on you in a moment. Thanks, darling. Wow. Joe? Chef Ramsey said that it was greasy, had a lack of onions, and not enough cheese. Not enough cheese? Not enough cheese. Hmm. Let me go talk to this guy. <laughs> hey. Chef, would you like us to prepare another French onion? Joe, it takes me about four hours to caramelize the onions. I'd like to move on. Want to move? Okay, and, sure. And I'd like sure. to continue tasting. Sure. And... Okay, let's do that then. Have you had an opportunity to taste? Uh, yeah. The oysters uh, Rockefeller. What, what's the, is that a bechamel on top? What is that on there? What have we put there? It's the hollandaise. Hollandaise, because it's all broken. But I had to spit that out because it's it's bitter. That normally comes when oysters are frozen. Mm-hmm. What's the oil around the outside that's like? We just put a, a little bit of our olive oil. Right. It was just more of a garnish that should so not have been. Can, can, you, can you see yeah, my rim? Yeah. But I don't see anything on the oysters. Right. Well, I got it in there, in there, in there. <laughs> well, we're not dousing the plate in oil. I'm not here to argue. I'm just telling you. Yeah, I can make you another one of these if you oh, want to no. just keep on moving. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's move. Let's keep Let's moving. Let's keep moving. I Let's got keep you. moving. OK, we'll do, I'll take these away. Excellent. 
When it comes to Chef Ramsay, I'm not intimidated because I know a lot of chefs. I've cooked and been all around. Oyster Rockefellers were terrible. That's funny, man. Oh, we have a look. Please, put that down. That looks, ooh, why is it on a rack? Oh, this is just so we can show our. Who makes the cake? They come from Cleveland. And this is like a procession of fuel <laughs> for the cake. Walk past the garden and throw some flowers at it as you walk past. Walk past. Okay. Ready? This is what you do when people are dead. Do you want me to sing yeah. too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. Long rest of the cake. <laughs> God. <laughs> come on. Bum, bum, ba, bum. <laughs> what you should be doing is look. You should have that. Turn around. You carry the front of the procession. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> right, you, you've, got, you've got it from here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> what in the bloody hell of putting carrots on it? A puff pastry, why would you do that? <laughs> this would be your scallop on croute. Thank you, Diane. Are these uh, the... Local carrots. Micro carrots. Oh, micro carrots. Yeah. From chefs. From the local farm. Do you not think you should let it grow a bit? Well, I don't think they're there to, 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 to be really eaten. They're more oh, for a garnish. A, oh. That's a garnish. Oh, so I, I, Just to add some color. OK. But I would like to explain what we're spending on micro carrots. Yeah. Can we go through this after? Whatever you no. want to do. You're, you are here right. as our guest. Can I give those back to you? Joe? I don't personally want them myself, but you can take them back to the kitchen. Oh, no, I personally didn't want them. Thank you, You're Amy. I have staff here that'll take care of that. You don't hand me raw food in my dining room. Man, that <laughs> pissed me off, man. We don't need them to bust our balls over if there's little petite carrots that go there. Those same carrots go to the White House. Those same carrots go to the Five Seasons. They go global, OK? Who would care? A Garnish, micro garnish carrot was on as a garnish. You're gonna hand the owner the little petite carrots? Because he knows he's in the wrong place. Now that Chef Ramsay is beginning to question the cuisine, can I give those back to you? Joe is beginning to show his true colors. I don't personally want them. Fruits. Sorry, Amy. These things are, they're, they're like rubber bullets. It's so firm. And look at this, the pastry's raw. That is a common complaint. Gooey, slimy, gross. Let me take uh, this right out of your you way. show that to him? I sure will. Yeah, thank <laughs> you, my darling. You're welcome. Wow, on croup my ass. <laughs> Joseph, firm, chewy, rubber, bullets. Disgusting. He, apparently, there's nothing that he likes. OK, yeah, set it down. We said we'd talk about it at the end. OK. So, puff pastry is about as flaky as you can get right here. Well, it still looks a little doughy to me. Wow. The El Quesadilla. Ah. Is that the, uh... The queso cheese. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. My god. It's, like, chewy, tough. And if there's one thing that should never go in a quesadilla, it's elk. I got one thing to say to this quesadilla. Adios. Wow. The vegetarian ravioli. Oh, jeez. I've spotted some more of that oil again. Yes. Oh, jeez. It is the dish I least like serving. Wow. Um, thanks, Danny. You're welcome. Thanks, Ash. Good look at it. It's gross. Wow. I mean, that is a joke. I mean, it's nice cold. Let's get one thing right. Farm to table is not. Farm to garbage can is disgusting. Amy, will you show him that? It's ice cold. I certainly yeah. will. Thanks, Danny. So these are ice cold. They were hot when they went out. It took me 10 seconds to get from here to I know. there. I guess okay. we could cook them until they're totally piping hot. I think they should be. 
Not cold? Yeah, that's how we do it, man. Right on. Wow, catch of the day. Catch of the day. Oh, geez. We have the sea bass, mm -hmm. the perch, and the bluegill. Uh, one thing I did need to ask you, uh, temperature preference for your elk medallions. I'd like to go mid-rare, please. All right. Thank you, You're welcome. The fish is dry. Almost like it's been freezer burnt. And that one there, grease. Put your fork in there. It's just full of grease. Amy. Rescue me. Just robbery. And this one here, the perch, you go there, it's just full of grease. Very greasy. I don't know why you do a trio all the same with the same bread. I, agree. I, just, I, I just, agree. But the biggest disappointment is nothing tastes fresh. A catch of the day means fresh. But to me, okay, they cat. all taste frozen. Okay. Thanks, Sally. Okay. Tom, it all tastes frozen. It does not taste fresh at all. Hey, Amy, this, set that down right now. Take this out. OK. This food's got to get out. Right. Well, well, what's wrong? <laughs> they said it all tastes frozen. And it should have been done in different breadcrumbs. Look how they do it in Ohio. If you did it any other way, they wouldn't eat it in Ohio. Oh, please. Elk medallions on a grilled portobello mushroom. Wow. And, oh, these are not for eating. Thank you, Madonna. You're welcome. It's tough as old boots. This is incredible. Would you be, would you mind? I would not. So, yeah, please. That is dreadful. I can't even chew it. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's not edible. Would you like to know how much we charge for that? This one? $35. $35? Yes, chef. Wow. Will you ask him to taste that? Okay. I'll be back. Thank you. Wow. He would like you to taste the elk. Very tough, chewy. The main item in the dish. He's dead wrong. That's aged elk. Elk is going to have a bite. It's going to have a chew. It's characteristic of it. It's never going to change. That is a tender piece of elk. Chef Ramsay does not know the bite of an elk, and I would like to go to his restaurant where he has elk. That elk is tender, it's delicious. What I'm trying to accomplish is from farm to fork. This is how these items eat. And I was surprised that he didn't get that. I'm going to challenge him. I'm going to say, you know what? At my expense, I'm going to go to your restaurant, and you make me elk, and you show me how to make it. Joe said you are dead wrong. Dead wrong. Dead wrong. He had two pieces, he said, and I quote, that is a tender piece of elk. Wow. If you honestly thought that was tender, they can eat my running shoes, you know that. Uh, thanks for all your uh, insight. OK. Tell everyone to get ready for dinner. I'll, okay. I'll be back. OK. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. And I'll talk to Joe after, yeah? OK. I'm going out for some fresh air. OK, In I'll fact, let him I'm know. I'm going out. Uh, is it, where is, is there a local cafe nearby? or? Uh, berries up. Berries. Yep. That's it. The dinky. I've heard of berries. See you. I saw that on Main Street. Thank you, Dave. Correct. Wow. Chef Ramsay said he is going to get something to eat, get some air, and he will be back for dinner. I wonder where he's going to go get something to eat that's so great. <laughs> I'm going to go to a restaurant to get some food. You <laughs> He's going to leave and go get something to eat, good luck. Go find something better. Chef Ramsay has returned to Mill Street Bistro after a walk around town and a quick bite. Where's uh, Joe? He is ready to give his verdict on the food to Joe, and the staff couldn't be more excited to witness it. I just want to talk about lunch. Yeah. It's going to be entertaining. Your thoughts on my lunch? My thoughts on, yeah. your, on your lunch? Yeah, I did thought, yeah. I've never had anybody in my career critique my items that told me every one of them was a piece of <laughs> and he had to go down the street to eat. Wow. That was uncalled for. Oh, my god. Can I just give you an insight to my lunch? Sure, since you've asked me, now you can go ahead. That's okay. very kind of you. I wasn't impressed with anything. I didn't take second or third mouthful from any dish. Let's start off with the scallops on croute. 
The pastry was raw. Rubbery scallops. Bland. OK. Next course, oyster Rockefeller. Yeah, oyster disaster. <laughs> OK. Catch the day. Out of those three fish, which one was fresh? He's not going to answer me. He'll just be BS. How many of those well, catch the day? You. you think your fish is fresh? Did you say fresh fish? On the board, it says fresh catch of the day. What does catch of the day mean? Fresh fish. Catch of the frozen freezer? We have fresh fish. No, we don't. No, we do not. <laughs> well, Lake Erie perch was fresh. They were all IQF frozen. IQF, Individually, sorry. quickly frozen. Right. When did that come off the boat? Four days ago. So you haven't got any in your freezer? Pardon? You haven't got any in your freezer? Fresh fish? Have you got it in your freezer? Yeah. Thank you. What does catch of the day mean, Joe? It means what is fresh local to the region at the time. Not frozen. You're trying to pull the wool over your customer's eyes. If it's not fresh, don't call it fresh. Catch of the day. Mm -hmm. Go to the next thing. We, we, we got said, it. You're not answering a straight question with a straight answer, and you're deflecting it. No, I'm not deflecting everything. I'm frozen telling you. Fish, that's, frozen fish, frozen oysters. Fresh. You're deflecting everything. You've made your point. Next course, elk quesadilla. Dry, rubbery, disgusting elk okay. that should go nowhere near a quesadilla. I'm OK with that. What were you thinking putting that in a quesadilla? What was I thinking? Yeah, just. Yeah, I got the right. balls to make what I feel that might work. My next course, elk medallions. There was nothing wrong with that elk. Chewy. Bland, raw in the middle. You wanted a medium rare. Oh, paying $35 for it, I thought I deserved that. Okay. Excuse me, so if I got the medium, would they have tasted better? They would have been more consistently cooked. Oh. I have been eating elk for 30 years. Do you have it on your menu? Seasonally. You explained to me what the game season sure. is. So it's when okay. game. Okay. Is that his absolute best? This is back the, the, in uh, the, back the, in Scotland. The, no, or, or no, this, no, no, this no. Is where? Uh, New York. New York. Yeah, New York. Let me tell you something. You're not a chef. Stop pretending to be one. Did I tell you I was a chef? You told me you trained with the best chefs in Europe. I didn't tell you that. I am self-taught by old school Europeans, master chefs that had a liking to me. Who is the chef here? It's my kitchen. I'm the chef. You just told me you're not. But now you are. I'm not a certified chef like No, I know yourself. that. But who cooks? I do. Right. So you're the head chef. You write the menus. You dictate the special features. Correct. Let me tell you something. You're not a fine dining bistro. You're a small man with a fake bistro. You're shooting way above your station. You've totally misjudged your market. Because all these pretentious ideas that you think are going to work are screwed. What are you referring well, to? Here we go. Okay, well, make it easy for you. Yeah, I, know I speak English, English too. Okay. okay. Store-bought chocolate cake, garnished with fake flowers. You don't even cook. You just prance around behind the line, throwing raw bits of carrots on top of raw pastry. I've never come across a bistro anywhere in the world. In the with world. Data. In the world. In the world. We'll Dude, research that. You are so arrogant. You don't even listen to your customers, let alone your staff. You have a gifted young group of servers that told me more problems and issues in the first mm -hmm. 20 minutes of meeting them than you have done all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now it's funny. Yeah. From a fake fireplace to fake garnish, yeah, you want me to blow smoke up your phony ass? I don't want you to blow smoke up my phony ass. Wow. It was petite micro carrots that it's was It's not garnish. just about the carrots. Carrots is just a example of 20 things that have gone wrong. You're busting I'm my balls. Because you're in denial. You want me to come in and change your carrots and make some fresh chocolate cake for you? Yeah. I'm lost for words. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Do you know what you could do for me? Impress me with your dinner service. Show me how you function. Chef. You want to see what comes back? Our elk does not come back. I'm deeply sorry your feelings are hurt. My feelings ain't hurt. Oh. 
You well, can't hurt my feelings. You're ignoring my advice. No, I'm not. And you're going up against me. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. your advice. I feel like Christmas has come early. Defensive, ignorant, and in complete and guess denial. What? If I'm all that, you're my twin. What? Yeah, because I've been called you here many a times. So let's get over to I can cook, Joe. When you have the arrogance to stand in front of me and charge your locals 35 dollars for entrees that are inedible, have a look at yourself, man. People seem to enjoy it. That didn't go so well. After clashing with Chef Ramsay over the quality of his food, owner Joe is truly not understanding Gordon's point of view. I know more about elk and buffalo and beef than he'll ever know. Gordon Ramsay didn't get it. He's saying that I'm shortchanging people and that that was fraud. Come on, let's cook our rotten food that, uh, that he wouldn't have if we was in the county jail. Give me a break, Chef Ramsay. Well, he just slammed my restaurant like it's never been. He does not know what I know about lake fish. He does not know what I know about buffalo. And I'm supposed to take this, that my food is garbage and I'm a fraud? I don't give a what he says. How many times did you have elk come back since you've been here, Bex? Jen? Kaylee? Bill? Speak up. I think every one of it, yes, you need to get together. That's what this is about. You got customers out here. So I, I, I appreciate what you're doing. I honestly appreciate each and every one of you what you're doing, OK? Well, let's get to dinner service. Right this way, folks. My apologies of how much you heard. This is some of the finest elk you can get. Or Chef Ramsay called it garbage, the worst in the world. We're supposed to wait to serve it when the grass is a certain height back over in Scotland. My name's Bill. I'll be taking care of you tonight. I'll have the beef strip chops. All right. I'll have the New York strip medium. Medium? Tom, I need to check uh, cream of asparagus. Is it pure vegetarian? Listen, leave the kitchen. Go over the other side. Joe gets mad if anybody's saying anybody anything to the kitchen. You know, he says, you need to be in there. You need to be quick. You need to respond to get the out of the kitchen. We went over this in the beginning of the shift. Tom, oh, is that for quiet? You're not allowed to talk? Oh. Now, what does a good quiet mean? Neighbors can play? <laughs> no, it's supposed to be any unnecessary chatter. So no chatter? Right. So how do you communicate? <laughs> Who put that up there? I put that up. So we got a job to do. We're trying to focus, mediocre as we are. People just said, you know, do you want to talk about something? Just take it out there. You OK? Oh. You, you OK? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a chance. You OK? Oh. We can't talk, but you OK? Yeah, yeah thank you. Let me know. Give me a sign. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got a porcini scallop, a perch, a pork chop, and a strip. Oh, well, that might be my chicken verdicchio, then. It's like you're guessing now. What table number is this? You don't have to ask how long. Yeah, he has not said what table it's coming up. OK, let's get these out. Boom, boom, boom. We should be OK after that. Even though there are very few words exchanged between the front of house and the kitchen, Stay catering. food is still being delivered at a reasonable pace. Porcini scallops. Unfortunately, the food is missing the mark with many of the customers. It's kind of gross. It just doesn't taste good. The sauce is potent. Let me get it out of your way. Is there something else we could get for you? No. Sorry about that. This was sent back. She said it doesn't taste good. OK. What's wrong with it? She did not like it. She said like it doesn't taste right. That's strong. Huh? It's strong, huh? Very strong. Have a taste. But I think what she did is she got a bite of rosemary. 
Oh, God, Joe. If she complains, she's got a branch of rosemary in her teeth. No, she's not. I think it's overpowering. The beard doesn't work, and it's too strong. He didn't mention anything about rosemary. Come on. Man. Hey, we're past that. What do you cook? OK, cook, then. <laughs> me. Try to cook, then. Passion. Passion fruit, mate. That's the closest you'll get to passion. You got a pebble in your ravioli. Like a rock. Yeah. An actual rock. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a rock. I will take this. Okay. What is it? This was in my lady's ravioli. What is it? Like a rock. Wow. Huh? Man. Joe, ladies, water in ravioli. Like a rock in there. What table number, please, Amy? 31. It's like a stone. I've never seen it. My God. That doesn't happen here. But it happened now. Oh, man. All right, what, what else can we f up here? He is being so critical and so brutal. Tommy, we're going to make all the bad food that we make for everybody. Wow. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, hey. That's it. I can't do anymore. I can cook, let me tell you. But ain't going to do this. Coming up, my God, a nasty secret is revealed. Surely you got a bit more respect than that. And Chef Ramsay has had enough with Joe Nagy. Wake up! You wake up! It's the most intense confrontation Chef Ramsay has had all year. You want me out of here, I'm gonna leave. Good! It's dinner service at Mill Street Bistro. And in spite of multiple dishes being returned to the kitchen... Joe, ladies, boy in ravioli. Like a rock in there. All right, what, what else can we up here? Joe remains in denial. Tommy, we're going to make all the bad food that we make for everybody. Oh, my God. That's Chef Miles. I don't care. Hello? Ah, Teresa, how are you? As part of his research, Chef Ramsay had reached out to a former employee, and her return phone call could not have happened at a better time. Thanks so much for coming down. Do you good? It's nice to meet you. Likewise. Well, good to see you, too. I have just some things I wanted to share with you and tell you. Let's go stand over here. Wow, wow, wow. Um, take me from the start, will you, please? Give me some background. You quit recently. How long ago? A month ago. Well, I was hired for Garmage and Prep. And then what happened? I ended up being Garmage Prep, dishes, cleaning. I did my own prep list. We have no head chef. So I'm in there busting my ass. He has to have someone always to put his frustrations onto, scapegoat. And so he's had only me to do it. And I would come in every day, and it was just, this is wrong, that's wrong. And telling me how horrible, you know, I was being pretty much. And I, I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm doing much better now. I'm Good. not crying when I go home. I'm not stressing out before I go to work. The reason I quit is I have too much pride. You are right? No. It took some pictures. This is the stuff that was here. That's meat in a baggie. What's it doing in the bag? Blood. It's to be served. To be served? That's the chef garden vegetables. Wow. That's the black girl pork chops. Oh my god, what is it with this guy? He preaches farm to table. All I've seen is frozen to table. The steaks he buys, he goes to a store and buys the tenderloins and stuff and he cuts them up. Why is he pretending? Why is he playing at it? Why is he kidding himself on, trying to pull the wool over the customer's eyes? He just, it's a cheapskate. He wants to make money. The locals in this area, he thinks he's... Calls them hillbillies. Seriously. It's dreadful. He needs to know that what he's doing is wrong. He needs to get his stuff together in there. I don't see how you're going to do it. <laughs> well, listen, I appreciate you coming down. Yes, and it was nice to meet you. Likewise. All right, thank you. On the heels of getting more disturbing information from an insider, Chef Ramsay knows he needs to do a deeper investigation, and it begins in the storage room. Ah, my God. Half frozen, blood stains, sat. It's not even frozen, it's half soft, half frozen. Where's that from? No date. Wow, what a mess. My gosh, frozen food that's been frozen since 2009, three years ago, used by 2010. Frozen blue cheese. Why would you freeze blue cheese? Farm the table, it's not. What is that? It's like frozen AstroTurf. What is that? Ah, 
Bingo. There they are, my little Rockefellers, full of water. Wow. Lesson number one, never, ever freeze an oyster. The worst thing you can ever do to it. Wow. Frozen shrimp from farm to freezer to defrost. Shrimp of the day. He's showing off his farm to table. Blown smoke up my arse about how fresh everything is. And look, a freezer full of frozen oysters, mussels, to frozen cheeses. Why would you put blue cheese in a freezer? Why? Why, why, why? Why would you freeze any oyster? Wow. What a fake. I need two tips on. Gotcha, gotcha. Joe, I get upset when I see fakery from a frozen ravioli, a frozen perch, frozen oysters, and when you deny it, that makes me mad. Well, let's talk you about that. Together, because you're, 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 you're making up stories. I'm, I'm not making up yes, stories. Yes, you are. That's how no. deluded you are. No, I'm not deluded. We have fresh stuff, OK? I'm struggling here okay. to stay in this building right now. I swear to God. Gordon, I got to cook right now. Yeah, I was okay. in I wish you would. I'm standing here watching a dead man walking. Joe, I need a regular French onion soup. Onion soup. All right, the onion soup's ready. Are they raw onions in there? What's that? Did you put raw onions in there? I didn't know. Why are we doing this to each other? I don't. Is this a wind up? Look at me, putting raw onions in a soup. I don't know if you're just around. I'm, I'm, I'm lost, Joe. Why are you doing this? We, we, you said earlier that it needed more onions, OK? We responded by putting the onions in there so they had more of a bite to it. It's raw. What's the matter with you? We send that out there. It's going to come straight back. What do you want to hear? That I take it off, Joe. Take the menu off the menu. 86 it. Save whatever little reputation you got left. Man! Surely you got a bit more respect than that. I'm trying to reason with you, Joe. I get it. Fine. I get it. Fine. But I am not here to show an idiot you can't put raw onions in an onion soup. I can't teach you that. That's called common sense. That in your tiny mind is not common. Pardon? Come here, you. Should we put raw onions in a caramelized onion soup? Tell him. No. Thank you. You've got talented staff to tell you that. Ask your chef. It's like you're doing it to me on purpose. His verbal it is just a bunch of But his physical stance in your way is ridiculous. So what he needs to do is get out of the kitchen. We could talk about it yeah, we're some other now. time. We're busy. Joe, draw me out of here. Tell me the truth. If you want me out of here, I'm going to leave. <clears throat> Next time on Kitchen Nightmares. And this guy got his head up his ass. Oh, my God. It's the dramatic conclusion of Mill Street Bistro. We don't have it. Oh, here we go. It's just insane. The fighting intensifies. Make yourself clear. Stop asking such ridiculous okay. questions. And Joe Nagy is not backing down. You want me to get rid of it right now? Whose restaurant is it? And neither is Chef Ramsay. Are you that stupid? It's an ending you don't want to miss. Wake up. You wake up. We are one of seven billion people, but how are we all connected? And all we touch is next.